Helsing, Cosmas prophecy for three years of war is being fulfilled. One part already fulfilled. Does that mean the other predictions of the prophecy will follow? This is concerning the predictions of St. Cosmas of Etolos of northern Greece. He lived about 1750. A lot of his predictions have already come true, especially of the independence of Greece from the Turkish Ottoman Empire. Most people don't know that Greece was enslaved to Turkey for over 400 years. Now, what does uh, St. Paisius, the new Christian Orthodox saint, say? And also St. Joseph Pedin, Vato Pedinos report. A very disturbing prophecy from St. Cosmas Etolos that speaks of three years of war has begun to be confirmed as a year has already passed since the start of the conflict between Ukraine and Russia and nothing on the horizon shows that it will stop in the foreseeable future. A war which Father Cosmas, St. Cosmas of Etolos refers to as the Great War, which means that it is going to be a world war. He says he will endure three days or three months or three years. The war will last three days or three months or three years. Well, three days it's not, three months it's not, it must be three years then. The three days have passed, the three months have also passed, so let's go to the three years. For anyone who doubts that this is a world war and World War III, it's, it's enough to see that an unknown number of thousands of allegedly uh, mercenaries and, in, in essence, ex-military uh, army uh, people are fighting in Ukraine, and about 40 countries are sending huge amounts of heavy weapons to Kiev, Ukraine's capital. This is an undeclared world war, which if declared means that nuclear weapons will now speak, and God help us, Father Cosmas, St. Cosmas, also said, if the war is caught from below, you will suffer little. If it's caught from above, you will be destroyed. Below meaning the south, above meaning north. Unfortunately, the war has caught on from above, meaning the north of Greece. And here it's worth adding some saying of uh, St. Paisios. Then the other states of Europe, namely England, France, Italy, and six or seven other European Union countries will see that Russia will grab parts so they will say we are not going over there either lest we take some peace but everyone will be chasing the lion's share thus the Europeans will also enter the war. However, Elder Joseph of Vatopedinos of the Holy Mount Athos who will soon be canonized believed that this war would ultimately end up being fought over the uh, city and the straits, uh, meaning the city of Istanbul of Turkey, and the uh, Strait of Vosporus leading to the Black Sea towards Russia. And then he says, then the uh, Medali Melidon nations will savagely slaughter, will be savagely slaughtered on the borders of the city, mainly for the straits. It will become terrible massacre in the area of the former Byzantine Empire. Of those who will uh, be victims, there will be 600 million separately. It's noted that a unique find in the Russian Far East, and more specifically in Yakutia, was found by miners working at the coal mine in Alginsky, which creates great concern. The statue is awe-inspiring, since it's unknown how much how such a creation could have been found inside a mine. We're talking about the Archangel Abaddon, which was found inside a mine in Yakusha. I, I uploaded a video of that yesterday. Um, now, there was, was he a real fallen angel or was it just a statue? The statue depicts a winged angel figure with a shield and a sword and resembles biblical descriptions of Abaddon. As they say, they expect a specialist from Moscow to come by helicopter in order to evaluate this find. How did a statue end up in a, in a coal mine in Yakusha? I mean, that should have been there, for, you know, millions of years ago. How did it get in there? Um, from the revelation of John, we learn that the angel of death is not the devil, but Abaddon, the leader of the fallen angels, who was entrusted by God with a mission of tormenting people as punishments for their sins. 
The role of Abaddon in the Old and New Testament gives a frightening preview of the role of the archangels, then that's what they will, uh, the, the role they will play on Judgment Day. And the role of Abaddon in particular becomes even more chilling if one reads the apocryphal Gospels. They write that since he is the one who gathered the dust from which God created Adam, then perhaps it's fitting that he should also be the one who will also gather the souls and take them to the place where God will judge them. Although Abaddon means a destroyer or destruction, many believe that he's actually the angel of death, the fallen, a fallen angel whose mission is to oversee the destruction of the earth on Judgment Day. However, there are others who believe that Abaddon is a location. This is from Pro News. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box 